Hey you guys, Sylvia here. How is it going? Guys, I'm really coming to you randomly um, to give you a little bit of an update of, well, what I have been up to recently. I've had quite a break from uh, recording and well, shooting and uploading videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, which I have been running for over a year now. I've done like well over 200 mainly review videos on my affiliate marketing channel. Well, that's what my channel has been mainly all about um, up until now. I have recently started making some little tutorials and helpful videos for newbies on how to do this and that. And I'll carry on doing that. But what I mainly want to share with you today um, is that yeah I have been kind of like taking some time off to rethink what I want to do uh, well the path I mean to just reflect on what I have done so, so far and I have been pretty busy um, studying and researching and yeah going through a few different training courses as well just to name a few um, quite a few but the, the biggest one would be legendary marketer uh, I have just finished um, what the the 15 day challenge uh, it's been quite quite well what's the word quite powerful but it's not like um, I have found out found out some, some some like revelation knowledge that has completely changed my thinking uh, no 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 None of that as such, uh, because I have already known a bit about marketing from um, other training courses uh, I have done in the past. Um, but yeah, Legendary Marketer is quite, quite an interesting, powerful product. I will review this. Uh, it's like an educational platform, really. I'll review this uh, training course pretty soon. Uh, but what I really want to talk about is the book that um, I found out about from Legendary Marketer from David Sharp as he t you know takes you through the 15-day challenge and he talks about this book okay a lot of you might know about this book you might have heard about it or or maybe not uh, not yet but it is a powerful book guys it's called rich dad poor dad so rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki uh, he's written quite a few books and some of them he actually wrote with donald trump as well <laughs> so that's the first book i read by him that you know that was written by him uh, and I must say, you know, what the, what the kind of like the subtitle here says is that what the, re what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and the middle class do not. And it is quite a game changer. I mean, the knowledge and the, the perspective and the understanding you'll get from this book. It's not the first book sort of that I have read on on what on financial intelligence because that th the bottom line is that th this book will awaken you to the true meaning of what is financial intelligence th there was another book i read that i would really recommend to anyone who wants to change the mindset uh, from the mindset of uh, f sorry from the mindset of scarcity to the mindset of abundance okay because there is abundance there is enough for um, everyone out there anyone and everyone who is willing to ask for it right um, this book I I read quite some time ago um, it's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill another powerful book that I would recommend to anyone starting um, well, starting um, an online journey or um, like, let's say, building an online presence or willing to pursue the uh, entrepreneurship entrepreneurship uh, journey, right? 
so these two books, I mean like this one, I just actually finished uh, listening to it on uh, Audible. But it is so good, I wanted to have it in paper. So I'm going through it again, because it's it's like... Let me just um, tell you what it says here. The, it's, it's like a starting po point for anyone looking to gain control of their financial future. But uh, the biggest takeaway from this book would be that, you know, not sky is the limit, but mindset is the limit. So it's kind of obvious, but um, unless you truly grasp the, the meaning of it, you can you cannot change your life and you know it all starts from self-work and doing like someone i i i forgot who said that but they said like i have become become great by being good over a long period of time so it's always the, like the 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 ultimate victory consists of small wins so yeah, that, that's that's kind of the point, like doing the, the, the daily things and becoming good at whatever is um, whatever is in control, re in your control really. So becoming good at it and then being consistent because what is success at the end of the day is really like keeping a habit going and make it, make it a good habit and it's going to be an amazing success. Whatever success means to you really because it's not about money, obviously. Money is just a byproduct of doing the good, like providing value to others, I would say, being of service. Because we all have natural talents and it's really like, I see it as like, when you don't become successful, you've kind of, you know, in whatever um, area, of your life but also also financially because we should have money money is good money is good we need money it's a tool that takes you from one place to another but it should never be your goal as such it, it's it should be a byproduct okay if you stick to doing the right thing it will just follow it's almost like a universal law okay and to me if you don't become successful at some point in your life some some earlier and some people later on in their lives. If you've just wasted your natural talents, then it's like the most sinful thing to me. Okay? Even like going back to the Bible when when it talks when, when there is this parable that talks about talents, okay? To one person God gave one talent, to someone five and then ten, and those who uh, multiplied the talents, you know, those who had a lot of talents, like five or ten, and they multiplied them, God even added more on top of that. And that one person who only had one talent, he decided to like, oh my goodness, I don't want to uh, waste it or waste it or lose it. And he decided to bury his talent. And then God even took away that one talent that was given to him to that person but not multiplied he took it away from that person <laughs> I mean what is the conclusion you know like if you don't let your natural talent shine then yeah it will be taken away from you because you don't deserve it if you don't um, grow if you don't grow so at the end of the day it, it is all about really self-growth and improvement and all of that i mean it's maybe it's just ra random thoughts but i i just felt this urge of sharing especially this book but also guys this one you know think and grow rich and the the, the rich dad poor dad um it's a must okay it's gonna uh, to anyone who who's ready Okay, who's ready to take the challenge and and I mean grab the the bull by its horns and make it, but because otherwise you will end up on on top of the bull's horns, <laughs> and that's not a good place to be, you know. So yeah, 
I'm kind of kind of uh, feeling very uh, inspired and I feel like I'm ready to keep producing content like crazy I I mean I have been having some you know technical issues I had to buy a new completely new laptop PC this and that I mean it's all good challenges are good obstacles are to be ex expected I love them and it's like it kind of uh, makes me want to do more um, it's normal it's all part of life it's good and yeah the only way the only way is forward you will be hearing on a regular basis from me from now on I'll go back to reviewing different products and also exposing scammy products uh, I have some amazing offers that I have I mean training courses that I have tried myself as well um, to recommend to you for to people who really want to make money real money online genuinely without scamming without selling people BS you know promoting BS just for the sake of making some sales it makes me sick to my guts okay uh, when people do it and way especially when they do it consciously because there's a there's a huge difference okay you can start out as a newbie and you start promoting this or that out, out of ignorance ignorantly okay but once you become aware of uh, what's going on and you still carry on doing I mean like the, the scammy stuff then <laughs> Just, just just, be aware that whatever you put out there will come back to you sooner or later. Um, so, you know, it's best to be real or raw and all of that. And, yeah, because at the end of the day, as I said, it will come back to you. So, put out a good thing out there, good thing will come back to you. Put out a bad thing out there, well, what will come back to you? I think you got that right um, but yeah we can always change we can always change that's like as long as we are alive we can wake up and change um, right I guess that's all you know I've been kind of like um, rambling a little bit um, that's fine that's cool Whatever I had, if there, if there was, if there was a message that you were meant to hear, I'm pleased that you know I I was able to contribute to that, and see you guys soon, very soon, and you know all the best. Take care. Give me some love, YouTube like, subscribe to my channel, um, if you appreciate my style, and yeah, see you soon. All the best. You know, love.